Hola everyone, Pocono Pan here, and I wanted to share my submission to the Coco Martha's secret cigar, secret sister cigar box swap. It's Coco Martha's cigar box secret sister squirrel secret dynamite. Who? It's Coco Martha's, and we all know how awesome she is. And she got a group of us to join her swap. And my partner turned out to be Natural Lock 77. And I always like um, when I get someone I've never worked with or exchanged with before, because that's always fun to get to know what, you know, different scrappers like and their styles and all that good stuff. So I was happy to be part of the swap. Also, as you all know, my challenge for this year, 2012, is not to buy any extra scrappy goodies for any of my projects or anything. So I went digging deep to uh, make this box and I had a good time. So let me tell you what I did. So the cigar box came from actual like smoke shop because Chris smokes cigarettes, well ruckus smokes cigarettes. Boo ruckus. <laughs> um, but he, when he does go into the stores, he does ask for cigar boxes for me. This one didn't have like all the hardware, it was actually adhered um, at the hinge with paper. So what I did before I started anything was I attached Tyvek, and you guys may know is that that strong waterproof paper. So I attached it here to the outside hinge and on the inside hinge. You can I get my Tyvek, um, Tyvek from Staples, and I first um, learned about how to use it from Kathy Orta here. She uses that on a lot of her mini albums on different projects so you know that get a lot of viewing so that way they won't rip um, it's the same envelope that you'll find those very durable envelopes that you find at the post office but as I said I get mine from staples so that's what I did first I did the hinges first then I painted the box black and I actually followed a tutorial that Drew um, card of my eye has here on YouTube and I'll leave the link either in the description or below and I've seen him use the technique I've seen Patricia who's to view master one here use the technique and I first saw the technique um, by DS Smith or D Smith designs I'll also leave her link to get crackle without having to buy a crackle medium or crackle paint but I still use all my stuff up so as I said I painted the whole box black then I use like a, a vanilla base and then put Elmer's glue on it. Vanilla paint base, not real vanilla. Then Elmer's glue and then some real, you know, Tim Holtz crackle paint. And I did, I went to town on it. And I had a lot of fun. There's lots and lots of layers on this. Not sure how shabby it's coming out on camera, but it's fun. It's got this, the amount of crackle that I wanted, the shabbiness, the bumpiness. I had a great time doing this. I'm sorry if it's not focusing. But it really looks, you know, vintage -y and or ancient as <laughs> as Linda likes to say. So that's what I did with the box when I painted it. And I loved how it came out. And to seal it so it wouldn't, you know, get start to peel and all that good stuff. I used this uh, Rustoleum's Painter's Touch in matte. And it's a sealant. For all your little projects. It seals, protects, and revitalizes, as it says on the can. And please, if you're going to use this, use it in a well ventilated area <laughs> and let it dry, like overnight. I usually let it dry. Now, I even sprayed the inside, but the inside was still kind of funky after a while. So, what I did was I just got a couple of dryer sheets and left it in there, and it got rid of the smell. Like, I left the dryer sheets in for a couple of days. Okay, back to the lid. I used, as Lisa and Yolanda recognized when I sent them the shot of this, the Cane Company K Sera Sera paper. And I just inked up the edges a little. And I used, well, two sheets. Well, maybe a sheet and a quarter. Because then I folded the top of this sheet over and then put another sheet underneath. This, not even bigger, just a little square inch, maybe, here. These wonderful mulberry flowers are from Carla, who is Carla S001 here on YouTube. She has an Etsy store, and these came from her. They're really, really pretty. Like the camera is not doing them justice at all. 
really pretty. And while we're on the flowers, let me mention the other ones. This is one of the tea roses from Prima Flowers. And I'll leave the item number for you. The little roses that are attached here, the little flowers, they're part of the Say It With Bling by Prima. So those will already come part of the bling, the little green ones. The yellow and the pink, this little light pink, and this rose, um, this fabric rose. They all were um, given to me in a rack by Nid Medina, who's here on YouTube. So Nidia is her name. I thought that turned out really pretty. Oh, and before I started adhering all these goodies down, I did spritz the paper with iridescent, iridescent gold glimmer mist. Now this fella right here, this frame, was given to me by Sharon, who's New Jersey Garden Girl, 1961, I believe here. Well, I'll, the link is there. And she gave that to me a while ago. Now, I've seen Cynthia Luhu. She was the first person who I've seen use Rub and Buff. Then I saw Kathy Orta. Then I saw Yolanda playing with it uh, a couple of weeks back. So I decided to put it on this frame, and it turned out really nice. You just put it on, let it dry a little bit, and you rub it off, and it gave it like a nice vintage look. And what I did was I took out the acetate here so that Cindy can put an initial or initials or a picture right here. So this is adhered. She can't move this, but she can cut out something small enough to place in there. This little butterfly I had gotten from Marion, from Marion Smith. She sent me some goodies one day, and that was one of her little trinkets that she sent me. It's a little um, metal butterfly. The light blue flat back pearls that you see right here. Those also come from Carla's Etsy shop. And as I said, I'm going to leave the link so that you can take a peek. So I put it along the edge and then I actually adhered it to the paper at the top and the bottom. Put it right here on the edge of the box because of the, then it's left such a big space if I didn't. The ribbon here I'm not sure, and I feel so bad. I could now correct me if I'm wrong. It either came from Nib Medina, or I believe I got it in a rack. It was in one of my rack bags that didn't have a name on it, so I'm not sure if I accidentally put it in there. But it is the prettiest ribbon. It has like little flecks of um, like sequins in there, but it's really pretty. And I put that all around the box that way really nice love it and um, Anika who's the Coco Martha she was said this to go oh she called it her over the top she said this to go over the top and we had to have at least one pink item on here so as you see I have several and luckily uh, my partner Cindy natural lock 77 she likes pink so that was good too okay so I mentioned that these were the Satan and pearls um, bling by Prima. Down here we have a Jenny Bolin stick pin which I bought at AC Moore. Come in a pack I think of like six. And then this little clock I got from Anna Massey's Etsy store a while ago. And I put some rub and buff on that. Also with the rub and buff you guys please use a well ventilated area. <laughs> I had the giggles by the time I was done using that stuff because I wanted to put it on this um, Tim Holtz word key, but I decided not to because I it, I just had the giggles. I I did this in my um, scrap studio and I shouldn't have. Um, well, I could have. I should have opened the window or I should have went out on the deck to use it. So here's the Tim Holtz key. And initially, I didn't have this ribbon. And when I was working on this, I showed this to Ruckus. So how is she going to keep opening it? This ribbon idea was his suggestion so I took his suggestion and then just used the ribbon like it was a real stark contrast to what was going on up here so this black ribbon and then I used decided to use the same ribbon on the inside of the box and I did that all around the inside of the box and that's just like American craft ribbon that I got for like a dollar 
maybe at AC Moore when it was on sale. I also used some more case Sarah Sarah paper on the inside of the box. And then another um, tea flower from Prima. And when I was redoing the ribbon, I kind of ripped the paper, but I think that adds to like the vintage shabby kind of look there. I painted the inside of the box, and as I said, I sealed the inside of the box with the um with the with the sealant. And as I said, it got kind of funky. So after like a couple of days, I just put in you know the um, dryer sheets, and it now doesn't smell too bad. And when we send off the box, we're supposed to send it off with goodies. So I don't want to show the goodies. You know, Cindy can show that if she wants when she gets her video. I just wanted to show this. I hope you're not peeking, Cindy. Well, if you are, it's too late because the video is almost over. Now, real quick, for the bottom. I bought these little leg. Well, they're not really legs. If you hold, They're supposed to go like this. And they're, they're called small egg holders. I don't know why someone can explain it to me, but these were in the wood section of AC Moore. Well, I guess that I should have had them the other way. I didn't like the shape. So I painted them the same color as the box. This used like a darker green on the inside and used more layers. And then I rub and buffed. <laughs> I rub and buffed here and just let that dry. I didn't even like buff it off to give it a little, you know, dimension. And then I used the stamp. This is not a stamp by Imagine Stamps. This was something that was given to me when I first started scrapping. And it says created by Pocono Pam. So thank you all for taking a peek at my box. I hope that Cindy likes it. Because I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun making it. I really did. So have an awesome day, everyone. Don't forget to stop by to watch our next episode of Website Wednesday if you haven't seen the past. So have an awesome day. Adios. Don't forget, we are all creatively connected. <laughs> there goes my phone. Have a good one, you guys.